Hey everybody, so I got another a Vox box from Influencer. This one is Grown Alchemist Biological Beauty. I'm really excited for this one um, because the last one I got was the Forward Thinking Always. Um, and it was kind of, it was like hit or miss kind of box. And I, uh, I liked the stuff in it but it wasn't my favorite. So I haven't even opened this yet. So I probably should have thought of that before we started filming, but that's okay. Um, I'll be right back. So I couldn't find anything to open my box. So I'm just trying to like pull the tag, well tag the sticker off. <laughs> So while we're doing that, how's everybody? It's been really hot here. Um, how, how's it been where you are? I actually, I have a contest going on. Um, I have a giveaway going on on my Instagram. So check that out. I'm going to repost it again today. And you have until July 9th to enter. And uh, it will be, it's like some makeup, some skincare stuff, you know, the huge. Um, and yeah, I will be doing the draw on my birthday, which is July 10th. So, okay. I got the box open. We got the, we got the sticker off. Yay. Sticker is off. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, pretty. What's in here? Okay. Test out your products and review on Sephora and Influencer. So we will do that. I just want to see what my products are first. I'm very excited. I have no makeup on, no skincare on at all right now. Let's see what this is. Ooh, a gel cleanser. Very cool. Very cool. So we got three products in total. I'm just going to put the box down beside me. Um, we got a lip balm, which is vanilla watermelon. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with watermelon stuff and a hydro repair day cream. Yay. So this product is a uh, certified toxic free and we're going to like open this stuff up and see like the boxes are, I love the simplicity of them. So here is our face cream behind me is just all my eyeshadow palettes so oh and it's not open yet so let's let's pop her open it doesn't smell which is kind of nice so we'll just put a little blob right there we'll put the lid on properly we'll lose the lid on the floor and put the lotion down on the table okay Oh, I like that. It has a very, oh, it might have a little bit of a citrusy smell, but it's very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's smooth. Like it, it absorbs really fast. I really like that on my hands so far. I don't want to put it on my face yet. Cause I haven't washed my face yet today. Cause I didn't know if I was getting what I was getting in the box. Here is the Grown Alchemist Lip Balm. We are going to try that, actually. And we're not going to lose the lid, hopefully. Oh, I can't smell it. It's just like a clear... Mm, I can smell it now. Oh, wow, that's shiny and all over my face. And I'm getting it everywhere. You don't need a lot, okay? You don't need a lot. We're going to attempt to put this lid back on. The only thing I don't like about this type of packaging, <laughs> like these little, with the blister on the top, is if you touch it too much. I don't have a paper. Oh, yeah, I do. If you touch it too much, um, everything comes out. <laughs> so I have it all over my fingers. Okay, last product. Mm. 
there's a little bit of flavor. It has a very faint smell, so I put too much on, but I like it. I do. I like it a lot. Um, it's quite nice. So our last one is our facial cleanser. I wonder if it has a smell. Geranium leaf, bergamot, and rosebud. Oh yeah, that's the, definitely. It is not my favorite smells, but I will use it. Um, I love bergamot. Like this is the packaging. Very pretty. Of course, I got lip stuff all over it already because it's everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to give these a try and then I will come back and let you know what it's all about. I feel like this one is going to be tingly and I think I'm okay with that, but we'll find out soon. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Face wash used. My skin feels clean, but it's a little bit tight. Okay. Oh God, look at my hair. Anywho. Um, it's a little bit tight. Um, I'm going to try the moisturizer right now and see if that makes any bit of a difference. Like here's an up close. Oh, I still have some water on my eye. Here's an up close of, oh, I know just ignore those. Okay. So <laughs> my skin does feel it's clean for sure, but it is a little tight. So we're going to do that much of the moisturizer and we're going to see how that goes. It's definitely thicker on the face. Let's just see how it sits on my skin. We're going to give it a minute. <laughs> Other big news, I am opening up a Kofi page because I want to go back to school now that the pandemic is over and I want to uh, get my nail tech and do my clinical esthetician course. So the Kofi is going to be up and running this week coming up and with it, I am hoping that people want to make like a dollar donation or something so I can finish doing that and then I'll get better at the extractions and stuff too and better at doing my own nails. Maybe I could make some extra cash doing everybody else's nails too because I love having my nails done. I actually just did these, wrecked them a little bit and so I have to go fix it when we're done the video. As for the moisturizer, um, it's a little bit heavy. I am not mad at it. I don't hate it. I don't dislike it. I think I would use it mixed with my sunscreen um, instead of just on its own. It would have been nice if it had some sunscreen in it. Uh, I like the smell. Okay, so the smell is Camilla and Geranium Blossom. It's not bad and it doesn't say that it has sunscreen in it. So would it have been nicer if it had sunscreen in it? Yes. I do like this. I can see this taking makeup off really well. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit drying for my skin texture. I have T-zone and I have sensitive skin and I get uh, cystic acne. So I don't know if that says anything to anybody about any of this, but give it a try. I do like it. Um, I like that there isn't a strong scent to the lotion. I love that. And when I was washing my face with this, um, with this gel cleanser, there wasn't a strong scent. Like, you know, when sometimes when you're like washing your face and you get it up your nose and then like all you can smell all day 
is your face cleanser and it's gross like it's gross so that didn't do that which is nice because you always get it up your nose so that being said i would if you have dry skin go get this go get this as it's sitting here it's absorbing um which i like it's a little bit tacky so you could probably use it as a primer under your foundation and stuff um excuse me it's cruelty free uh australian certified it's vegan and it's organic so all the things that everybody is looking for good to know i always love cruelty free products so and the packaging is recycled and is recyclable and it's gluten free uh positive luxury and yeah all those things on the box go give it a try i like it it's not my favorite but i do like it and thank you so much to uh influencer and to sephora for letting me try this stuff that's really awesome i really appreciate it so all the best to you um in the next week i'll put up a video when i have everything in motion and please subscribe if you want notifications turn them on i think i'm entertaining maybe you do too there will also be a couple more popping videos up and i'm hoping to start a new series soon about things in the universe that can kill you it'll be fun i'll talk to you guys later